What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I told y'all, I'm just about to upload that video, okay? So whatever I put out, that's what I put out. Um, I, I be wanting to talk about other celebrities as well, but um, because I know y'all tired of the same thing. Me too. But the thing is, with the algorithm, you get what you you get what they want you to see. You get what I'm saying? Unfortunately. But you know what? Times have changed. We just going to react to it and put it out. That's where I am. So um, something that I was intrigued about uh, for the past couple of days. First of all, I was at the beach. That's why I wasn't uploading. I, I needed some time to think. Here we are. I've thought. I've conquered. I'm here. And we're about to get into this first video, which is Young Miami hit with legal papers uh, at her pool party. Okay. Now, this dude right here, he decided um, Big Charlie C., he wanted him to serve her papers for selling some merch um, or or something about some merch, okay, um, that she didn't sell. Now, it has something to do with P. Diddy as well, per use. And honestly, I wish she wasn't involved in all of that, but I just feel like Young Miami done seen something dealing with Diddy. And I don't know what, you know what I'm saying, but... If y'all haven't seen the, like, legal documentation of what's going on with them, girl, you seen something. And, girl, that's her man, and she gonna stick beside him. But anyway, that's besides the point. We're gonna let her do what she do. Bro. These her papers, check. My nigga Charlie C. actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. She got down. I'm about to do it. Bro. It's about, to, nigga do Charlie it. I'm about to do it. Here it is. Okay, can I now you know my problem he could get that close to her like being a celebrity today is not a flex i would not want to be a celebrity today and some of y'all might see me as a celebrity i don't i can still go on target i'm still gonna run into some folk i was just in florida some people knew me i love y'all OK, but no, I don't want to be young Miami. I don't want to be P. Diddy. I don't want to be none of them niggas at all. Not today. Absolutely. <laughs> young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. What is this? What did you just say? So my homeboy, Charlie C., you've been served. OK. Now, my problem is with the security, they just let them hand the papers. It could have been a bomb. It could have been anything. She just got handed papers. That's crazy. Anyway, um, some of the celebrities had some things to say in the comments. Bobby Light said, this is pathetic. Anthony Uncensored said, this is lame as F. Um, I never got any papers. Sorry, ma'am. It's on video. Uh, she said, okay. I never know process. I never knew process servers were allowed to publicize who they serve. Shake my head. I hope he gets fired. Um, he had to record, but we didn't need to see it. And she got to do uh, what? What she got to do with Diddy not paying somebody what you want her to do? Serve him because, baby, this ain't going to happen. He, they're not going to get any money. Apparently, it was what Young Miami said was it was some merch um, that was supposed to be sold. Young Miami didn't sell no merch. Okay, so um, nine times out of ten, this case ain't going nowhere. Okay, uh, now she said, okay, like it was a gift. I mean, what did you expect her to say? Like, nah, little nigga, come back. You know what I'm saying? This is how eager they be at the shop when they tell you they found something else wrong with your car, okay? It was okay. Carisha don't give a damn. It says the suit is over. Did he not pay him? He served Carisha. I'm missing something here. So that's even worse. That basically, uh, Diddy said, I'm not paying you. So now he, he just saying he going to get his money by any means. That's crazy. He's wasting money. Y'all really don't understand how a process server works because y'all keep repeating why he recorded it. They need proof of the serving of the lawsuit. Lord, I'm really starting to wonder if some of y'all, never mind, I'm not going to even say it. <laughs> Look, I ain't know either. Hell, he smiled like he made an honor roll. This was the highlight of his life. Girl, he served her papers. Okay, so that's that. Now, yesterday the girls was girling because young Miami and JT was into it. 
Uh, now, why? I don't necessarily know, to be honest with you. And quite frankly, I think it's a little ridiculous. Y'all supposed to be a group, one band, one sound. That's why I don't do things with groups anymore and with people. Uh, because, you know, we fall out and they got to hit the internet. But anyway, uh, Young Miami say, a bee, a bee been sneak dissing me for weeks. And I ain't say ish. What a bee mad at me for? Um... JT said, oh, Miss Mama, this your last day playing dumb. Okay. What happens in the dark always comes to light. This is JT talking. I ain't jealous of a soul. I'm always like a go, be, go. Uh, I clap for everybody. I show love to everybody. It ain't a B I haven't shown love to. Okay. Um, it'll be too much for me to tweet. I will like a sit down, Carisha, please. And this time leave Santana home. Y'all know she really don't like Santana. And quite frankly, I think both of them, Santana and JT, have nasty ass attitudes. I don't even think they should be friends because they they're just somebody need to be uh, a little more nice in the group. OK, and neither one of them are that. All right. I know I come off crazy, but never in my life did no whack ish to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged when people show me love. She goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can sit and talk about it. Okay. Um, and I think that's that on that slide right there. Now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a lot of stuff these days is kind of fake. And I could be absolutely wrong. Like right now, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar beefing. Why? I don't know what made Kendrick Lamar call J. Cole out. It could have been the fact that J. Cole, excuse me, Kim, Kendrick Lamar hasn't dropped a song in a minute. So he was like, you know what? This going to sell the song. Mm -hmm. um, J. Cole responded. Then he got to apologize. And why? Mm -hmm. I reacted to their songs on the Patreon. If y'all want to hit the link in the pinned comment. But my thing is, I feel like the guys are upset at the fact that the girls is winning in the rap, you know, in the rap genre. Right now in the world and also in basketball. I mean, Caitlin Clark going crazy. LSU going crazy. South Carolina just won. You know what I'm saying? Um, the NCAA championship and the boys. Well, they played on Monday. Nobody cares. OK, so I think the, the men are feeling some type of way that the women are winning, but the women never can just win because the men always got the women in some shit. OK, that's where I was going with that. All right, so JT said, and I was for sure there for her from the beginning, but y'all will see this in time that I'm not, never was, and never will be the problem. Have a nice day. Um, she responded to somebody saying, Miami is really going through something. You just responded to a stranger on Twitter. You're pathetic. Um, young Miami said, Elaware, here we go. Okay. For you to come on here and try to play victim is crazy. Jatavia, you've been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days. I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me and I still wrapped your ish with my chest and show love. So what's the real problem here? Okay. Uh, you let the internet put in your head that I'm jealous of you. When you know I'm the one that always pushed us, you have resentment towards two, mm, and that's okay, all right? A B trying to kick me while I'm down and play into these narratives <laughs> is dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. Which songs was about you? That's what uh, JT said. No bars and sideways is what um, Young Miami said, okay? Now we're getting somewhere. Girl, the internet told you that which songs was about you? The one saying it's City Girls-ish, even when it ain't City Girl-ish, that was released under City Girls or the one that say riding solo, but I'm still in a group. Get your phone back from whoever this is, baby. Don't play with me. First of all, saying it's City Girl-ish when it ain't City Girl-ish, it's shady. I feel like, I feel like JT, I ain't going to say I feel like she's jealous of Carisha. I ain't going to lie. I don't, I don't, nah, I might be lying. She might be a little jealous. I mean, I would, I wouldn't be jealous anymore, especially with the Diddy situation. Cause Diddy, Carisha's is some shit. Okay. Um, 
But anyway, I'll continue. Oh wow, you're really losing it. If you thought this would if you thought this why not speak to me about it. You came on here and said LOL so people can ask you why you wasn't defending me. Attention seek attention seeking as usual. Okay. Let me see, is there something else? I can never see the next arrow on this. Because it ain't one there. All right. So that's what JT had to say about that whole situation right there. Um, Next. Reread what I said in case you didn't comprehend the first time. Okay, so Saucy Santana says, Sheesh, I thought he was talking about Puff and those allegations just like the rest of the world. What the F are you talking about? JT, you retweeted a. Uh, NM Stan asking why you didn't speak on Miss Pissy allegations, which refers to Diddy, not you. Everybody looking for answers and responses to that situation, which will be televised. You unblock me to insert yourself. I'm still confused. I'm the problem. I'm the villain is what Saucy Santana had to say. Then he also said, JT, please, you always throw me in some ish. You unfollow me and block me like I'm the person you got a problem with. Please address your issues head on with any and everybody you don't like. Stop taking it out on me. I don't need to be mentioned. And I agree. Because why did you say Santana can stay at home? Then nobody, he probably wouldn't have said nothing. So then... Then uh, he said, FYI, I was initially asked to be a co-host of Carisha, please. I declined and was a guest host to people I was genuine friends with, i.e. Lotto, JT, and Suki got scrapped. I don't need to be involved. I got my own motion, okay? Now, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah, I don't see an arrow, but I just be wanting to make sure, okay? So that's what happened there. Um, one more thing. You looking for a way out of your situation? Who was the first person uh, call you when it all started? You're a sad effing case. A B trying to kick me while I'm down and playing to these narratives is dangerous. When blah, blah, blah. And she said, not you. You weird and want to act like I'm a weirdo. You always mad. It's always a problem. And all I try to do is push you, tell you the, you the ish. You can rap. You should model, etc. You always mad. You're doing ish as you should. Congratulations. But somehow you still mad at me. Okay. Um, I can see that happening. For some reason, the girls is just going to girl. And, you know, what's messed up is the girls is winning. The women are winning. <sighs> if I'm ever mad, I have a reason to be mad. But uh, behind closed doors, you have done you have done stuff to me that you think I should just get over. You never come to my defense when I'm when what when I would have literally took a bullet for you. When CP popped off, I was there first episode, and when someone canceled, I showed up in a red wig. Okay. Keep calling me mad like the internet do, but you know me, my heart. You know me, my heart. Pump go. Okay. I wish you the best always and love how fast you got in here behind Santana. Yeah, JT's a little jealous. She want her friend back. Jatavia, we just got off the we just got off the phone. I'm so confused now. We back on the internet. It might be that cocaine or shawty. That ain't even allegedly. Y'all see her do a line on the internet. If you haven't, go look for it. <laughs> um, this tweet was before the phone conversation. Don't know why it didn't go through. Maybe because everyone blowing up my phone and still stands. I'm glad to see you know how to respond. You nonchalant about everything else. Lord have mercy. Um, Jatavia, I love you. I'm moving on. I love you more. I actually love you the most. Okay, uh, did that end after that? Are we done? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Bingo, the last sentence is the problem. This what it always been. How much have I bigged you up, had your back, been with you through highs and lows, always congratulated, boosted confidence and egos. You know the real, so why it's always shade for me? One minute you love me, next minute I'm Carisha friend. It's giving JT is jealous and need to go sit down. Come on now. 
Never did I never did nothing. Ah, uh, what? Never did nothing to you. Somehow I always ended up on the receiving of the shade from the live when you first got out, which then followed Block Boy JB calling me a faggot, and you sat there. Snatching mics at Rolling Loud, calling me your favorite op on your B-Day. What have I ever done to you besides be a friend? They were having a moment yesterday, okay? Ooh, child, we got more. Your career started from being disrespected on live. You really trying to play me as a homophobe? Wow. To be fair, I didn't know how to work live. I had just got out and Rolling Loud got time limits. I gave you my mic to begin with. Whoa. Shake my head, baby. Don't do this to me. Okay. All right. Um, Clocked it. Never was no messy punk in the middle. Always championed. For both, I was friends with both. I could never be no MFing flunky. I'm a friend, a real loyal one at that. So I'm not going to listen to this audio because it's going to get copyrighted. Um, and get y'all a off the timeline saying this ain't got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with me. To, it has everything too. My name keep being mentioned. Y'all ain't slow. I'm owed a phone conversation offline too. So this ish can stop. Okay. Um, did it ever stop? <laughs> oh, how the story ends. We talk moving forward. Okay. So they spoke. Apparently they are good, right? They good, right? I think they good. I don't think. Okay. Let me get off these women and they, I think they good. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. You know what I'm saying? Dre over here pregnant. Everybody's showing their body. I don't want to see it. That's all I got for this. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Please comment to me what else y'all want to see. Um, I'm going to go down this timeline and just bring it all. Hopefully you see it. If y'all, what, what you can do is go to um, subscribe and click all for notifications. That's all I got. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.